What's up guys, Rosette Production here and today we're gonna be reviewing the Zhiyun Crane Lab 3. So this gimbal was sent out to me to review on a music video set. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna be running a music video with Bonfice and Clement. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's good, Back tell again. Good. Um, Behind the scenes. <laughs> Behind the scenes king. <laughs> so yeah, you guys probably seen Bonfice in uh, my very first rap video or music video tutorial. So we're running another music video right now and specifically reviewing the Crane 3. So probably gonna get some other shots other than just all Crane shots just because I am gonna put this music video out on the channel. So we're gonna get some handheld stuff, but for the most part, 90% of this video probably gonna be all with the crane. I wanna show you guys that you can produce an awesome music video with this product. We're gonna be running the uh, Lumix S1. So it's a brand new camera that I just copped. Uh, the MC21 Canon adapter to the Sigma 18 to 35. I also have the Typhon, I think it's the quarter black mist filter. So I just kind of crushed the highlights a little bit, makes everything look a little more cinematic. I mounted a HD 501 monitor on here just so I can see what I'm doing rather than looking at the little LCD screen. But um, yeah, it's the gimbal as it sits. Just with a mini stand, I also have like the bigger stand right there as well, but this thing's pretty sweet. I think we're gonna run uh, just performance scenes first and then we'll get into B-roll. So first performance scene, we're probably gonna do like six at this location. We have this whole like kind of court to ourselves, but I'm um, gonna have Bonfice probably just solo warm him up right in the middle here, kind of where he's standing. And I am going to be zoomed out all the way at 18 mil on the Sigma 18 and 35 using the crane. And I'm just gonna be pushing in and out. I'm gonna be coming in nice and close to him and pushing back out. We're gonna get a nice, very clean panning movement. And we're gonna play the song from very beginning to very end using the Crane 3 gimbal. All right guys, so we have the crane here in my hand. There's a little stand at the bottom so you can set it just on the ground if you're not using it, which is kind of nice. There's a nice handle right here. So as I said, I'm gonna be like running in and out of Bonfils while he's doing a performance scene with this gimbal. I have my monitor here. And the cool thing about this is there is actually like a follow focus feature, which they gave me. So I'm able to actually control the zoom and I can pull focus by the trigger here so it actually adjusts the focus so I actually don't have to touch the camera at all which is unreal. What's up guys sorry to cut the video off there really quick I just realized something after I shot this um, tutorial and obviously we can't go back in time and go back on set but I want to talk about the follow focus feature really quick and something that I actually messed up on the shoot. After the shoot I noticed that I had the light and the max motors um, swapped around accidentally. So basically for the follow focus, you're gonna have the max motor and you're gonna have the light motor. So the light motor, you're actually gonna want um, this follow focus motor. It's on the back, it'll say light, L-I-T-E, and you're gonna wanna attach that to your focus ring. So the light motor is actually slightly smaller than the max motor, so you don't wanna use the light motor to adjust the zoom, which the max motor is supposed to be doing because you can actually burn out the light motor. So that's why you have the max motor on the zoom and the light motor on the focus. And it will say on the back of each motor, it'll be stamped light, L-I-T-E or max, M-A-X. And again, because I swapped these motors around accidentally, um, I messed up the trigger, which I, I mentioned it was the trigger on the back here. I said in the video that the trigger was for adjusting the zoom when really when you swap the motors around the trigger here aka the rocker it's actually called a rocker is for adjusting the zoom and the wheel right here is actually for adjusting the uh, focus so I had them swapped around it wasn't really a big deal honestly even though I had it swapped around I was still pulling focus perfectly fine through here I mean at the end of the day not a big deal I mean I didn't burn out the motors they still work perfectly fine but yeah I just want to go over that really quick and uh, we'll just jump right back into the video yeah and you can also press record off of the trigger too so I literally don't have to touch the camera at all I can adjust the ISO shutter and aperture all through the handle which is awesome so we're gonna get to the first scene I'm gonna be probably dipping pretty down low and I'm just gonna be walking in and out while Bonfice is rapping to the camera. And my flow so good, you niggas garbage. Yeah, and RIP Morish lost the cousin. 
Now I trust nobody. Now I trust nobody. Niggas talking with no topic. With no Get up and I'm dropping more bodies. Uh, uh. Fuck a chest, I'm yachting all addies. Used way. to party back then, no capping. Yeah, yeah. All my niggas flexing, no capping. Yeah, yeah. Right now we have it on the stand that it comes with so pretty much just a big pole here and I attached it on the bottom and basically what I'm going to do now is um, I double tap the POV mode so that puts the camera pointed upright and you can actually tilt the camera down and actually tilt the camera like this and you'll see a lot of people online and in pictures they'll take the camera and they'll bring it up like this and then kind of bring it down to get like a kind of a crane movement but we're actually going to be walking around like this looking at the monitor and getting performance scenes of the um, artist doing the scene with the camera pointed up like this. I feel like it's going to be easier to get that shot where we're kind of looking up at the artist rather than kind of awkwardly positioning my hand and pushing the gimbal up. So this is a pretty sweet little feature for sure but um, yeah we're going to run a scene right now. So um, for that scene, we just did a performance scene, so it was just the artist singing along to the song from very beginning to very end, and we're going to use that within the edit or just at certain cuts. But I actually had it in the um, vortex mode, so I can actually use the joystick and I can make the camera barrel roll. When the Ronin S came out, that was a big feature, but for music videos, it looks awesome. I see a lot of music videos where they use this feature. They just kind of go straight in and out. So I was trying to actually get the angles where I was like looking up and then panning back down. But the joystick only allows you to barrel roll whenever you want. So that was a pretty sweet feature. That um, scene looked super dope. I'll lay it over right now. But yeah, the next scene we're going to do is um, we're going to toss this back into follow focus or follow mode. And um, we're just going to shoot the artist. Um, we're going to shoot it in 4K 60fps just because I want to use some of it as B-roll too because we haven't gotten to B-roll yet and I want at least one per performance scene to be B-roll so or have the option to use it as B-roll so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in all the way at 35 mil in the full follow mode so I'll be able to actually um, pan back and forth and then tilt up and down so yeah we're going to get the next scene all addies, addies. Still party back then, no capping yeah, yeah. All my niggas flexing no capping I thought you like me, I thought you like me you are set up to you tryna stab me. Uh, I like girls around me like some poppies. Yeah, all my real friends they stay around me. Guess I need the love I never had it. Yeah, bitch you talk too much like you so savage. Uh, and my flow so good you niggas garbage. performance scene so in that scene basically what I was doing was I had uh, the crane on this right here and that kind of allowed me to like kind of have a better grip on the camera on the gimbal and then I used a joystick to point the camera upwards at the artist and I basically was just like circling around him as I was getting his performance scene I shot that at 60 FPS because I knew that that would look good in slow-mo the reason for doing that is because we had like a lot of trees in the surrounding area so while I was spinning um, punched in all the way at 35 mil you're gonna get like a cool kind of cinematic effect so the artist will stay in focus but everything else in the background is spinning behind him really fast because I was moving just like around him in the circle I just use the joystick I point the camera up and I literally just circle around the artist while holding this pole so yeah it was a lot easier than using um, an actual like gimbal gimbal like a stabilizer but the next shot we're gonna get right now we're shooting in 150 fps and i just want to get some b-roll to lay over so i transferred the camera back onto the smaller um, stand here so we're basically just gonna get some tight b-roll shots in 35 mil and some wide angle shots of them just like vibed along to the song that we can use as layover footage so yeah we're gonna get right to that
All right, so that scene went really good. We just shot in 150 FPS. And just for Soli to have his B-roll to overlay. The gimbal held up awesome for that. So I had the gimbal in full follow mode and I was using the joystick to kind of like angle the gimbal in different positions just so I had some shots where I was kind of pointed up at the artists and the extras and then I also actually switched it mid scene to the barrel roll or the vortex mode so I started getting b-roll in 150 fps barrel rolling which looked pretty sweet too so yeah we're gonna do one more performance scene that I just thought about we're gonna have Bonfils probably on the other side of the fence and we're just gonna have him do a performance scene and I'm gonna shoot in, in uh, 4k 60 fps so we can use this b-roll too because that's gonna be a pretty sweet little shot so I'll have him probably go on the other side here just like um, with the vines around him and stuff it'll look pretty sweet I thought you like me I thought you like me yeah yeah you are set up and you trying to stab me stab me uh, I like girls around me like some pop piece like yeah here. all my real friends they stay around me around me Ooh. I need the love I never had. All right guys, so uh, we just did one more performance scene here as I just explained. And there's actually another feature that this gimbal has. You can actually hold the go button that's on the handle and it makes like your movements more responsive. I'll try to do it here to show you guys, but so I'm not holding the button right now and I'm panning. And as you can see, like the dead band, I think it's called, it just takes like an extra half a second to get to its like neutral point. So I move it, it takes like half a second like night and then I hold the go button so I'm holding it right now and you'll see it's a lot more responsive so it locks in place really quick so what I kind of did was and even when I'm panning too it's super super quick so what I did was um, I just did a performance scene of Bonfils on the other side of the fence and I held the go button the entire time and I was shaking the gimbal everywhere and just kind of vibing to how he was vibing and it turned out for a really dope shot all right, so we're just at the second location here. This is gonna be the last location of the shoot using the same setup on the on the Lumix S1. And I actually want to talk about something on the crane that actually definitely caught my attention. It actually has a locking feature. So you can lock the pitch roll and the yaw, which is awesome because when you wanna put your camera on here or if you're just literally straight up carrying the camera around, this is gonna stop it from uh, like waving around like this when you're walking around so you can actually lock it like that and then you can lock the roll so everything will stay kind of steady because when we were driving here I locked everything up drove over here and I just tossed in the trunk locked everything up and nothing's gonna move around there's no wires that are gonna catch anywhere so that's pretty sweet and even when you're mounting the camera you can lock everything at this position here mount the camera in there and it's not sliding around everywhere and it's just like super super simple i love this feature this is awesome so yeah we're just gonna mount the camera up here real quick so basically slide the plate in here so once we do that i'm gonna unlock the roll or i guess the tilt and i'm just gonna center this up the best i can oh yeah another thing too that kind of um had me wondering was when I was originally setting this up, this little locking plate here, or like the um, like to lock your mounting plate to the actual gimbal, there's a little um, lever here. So basically for some reason, like, like I would try locking it all the way when I had the camera mounted and it just wasn't like locking in place. Like it wasn't um, like really catching. So this is actually spring loaded. So you can actually lift this lever up and then you can kind of, um, give it some more like pull basically to actually lock this down real tight. So that was something that I didn't even think about. I just saw it on like a random YouTube video with like a thousand views, but yeah, that's how to fix that. So I definitely like, um, I thought maybe I had to like tighten it down with like a screwdriver or something, but you literally just lift it up, it's spring loaded. And I think all the levers on this gimbal are spring loaded. So you just lift them up and then you can kind of like crank them in, kind of like, like a wrench. Even balancing, like I could probably have this full gimbal balanced with the servos um, hooked up for the follow focus and follow zoom in like probably less than two minutes like I'm pretty quick at balancing but everything is very user friendly like extremely user friendly um, everything's very easy to kind of maneuver and balance so yeah this is um it's just such a good run and gun gimbal honestly and even for like cinematic shooting too it's just an awesome gimbal overall so we get this all mounted up and then we're gonna get some more performance scenes probably three gimbal performance scenes and then we're also gonna get uh, just some b-roll shots using the gimbal as well probably six or seven scenes in total and this is gonna be a very like simple music video but um, I really just want to make something just to show you guys how simple it is to make a music video using the Zhiyun Crane 3 lab 
All right, guys, so one other thing that I actually noticed when I was set, um, just turning the gimbal on, so there's a little button just on the side. You hold the button, it turns on. Um, so as I was just explaining before, there are the locking features for the motors, so like nothing moves around. I just noticed too that like if you accidentally turn the gimbal on and you kept all the motors locked, you could actually wreck the brushes inside of the motors. So I accidentally had the, I think it was the roll or the tilt or something, or no, 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 the yaw. I actually had the yaw locked in place. So I actually powered the gimbal on. This is actually pretty cool. So powering it on right now show you guys turns on it actually has a little warning light saying axle lock so if you do forget something um, this is actually gonna start beeping and all you're gonna do is flick that out and it's good to go it's free to um, unlock there so that's a pretty cool feature actually it has like a um, safety mode which is pretty sweet and then you just power it on and off and it'll clear that uh, safety feature so that's pretty sweet Another thing too that I forgot to mention was I actually did notice but I just didn't have this on camera I was rebalancing the gimbal and just because it was like off axis for some reason and I noticed that I had the um, one of the motors locked in place like here so you can't move it so I actually realized that um, you can just double tap the power button and um, if you do get that screen on the back of your handle that says axis locked instead of restarting the entire gimbal again you literally just double tap the power button and it will just restart as is and you won't have to actually like power the gimbal off and then power it back on. So just another super quick tip. Pull the focus here. So as you can see, pull the focus. So we're gonna put it like right here. So as you can see, like, like I'm pulling the trigger and it actually moves the focus, which is pretty cool. And then right here we have the, uh, the zoom, so. What do you need? Now you can see right here, it all just like adjusts as you spin this. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, we're gonna get to this first scene here. Just gonna do some singles real quick um, of Bon Feast. But uh, yeah, we're heading this location here. Just gonna get some gimbal shots. We're gonna start with tight shots and then move out to a more wider, wider angle. I thought you liked me, I thought you liked me. Yeah, yeah. You are set up to you trying to stab me. Uh, I like girls around me like some pop piece. Yeah, all my real friends they stay around me. Around me. Ooh, guess I need the love I never had it. Had yeah, it. bitch, you talk too much like you so savage. savage. Uh, and my flow so good. Um, I have the gimbal, the crane mounted onto the uh, monopod stand again. And basically, what we're gonna do is set up the monopod. What I'm gonna do is take the joystick. I'm gonna put it in follow mode. I'm gonna tilt the joystick up, just so Bonfice is in, just so he's in the frame when I'm punched in all the way at 35 mil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a zoom pull, I think it's called. So basically this is a technique I use in some music videos, but basically all I do it's just a standstill tripod shot and all you do is zoom in and out at the artist while they're doing the performance scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, with the follow focus, I'm gonna take the little um, knob here and I'm just gonna slowly turn it out very very slowly turn it out and we're basically just gonna get a cool performance scene while we're just basically doing a very simple zoom in and out so this is just another type of scene that you can get using this gimbal because usually when I used to do this I'd have the camera mounted on a tripod and I'd be sitting here and I have my two fingers on here and I'd be trying to perfectly zoom in and out with my hands and it would just be a little inconsistent whereas if you have a knob you can very very slowly control it can get a very controlled kind of a zoom um, zooming in and out and getting that cool little um, zoom pull, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're gonna run that right now. I thought you liked me, I thought you liked me. Yeah, yeah. You are set up to you trying to stab me. Stab me. Uh, I like girls around me like some pop piece. I like me. Yeah, all my real friends, they stay around me. Around me. Ooh, guess I need the love I never had. Okay, so the next performance scene we're gonna do is in 24 FPS and 4K, and it's gonna be of uh, Bonfice and the two extras in the scene. Um, basically for this, before in the courtyard, I was using this when I was getting like the, um, the run and gun shots where I want to get like kind of low. But what I'm actually gonna do just to make life a little easier is one hand will be gripped on the um, bottom stand. So I'm gonna um, retract that and hold it. And then the other hand will be on the grip of the gimbal, obviously. What I'm gonna do is put into follow focus mode. So that would be the top button. You just click it in until it says FF or full follow, I think it's full follow. Grab the gimbal by the handle, tilt forward, 
grab the arms, retract them in, and I'm just gonna click, move the joystick, and now we're gonna be like this. So this is how I'm gonna get my music video um, performance scenes basically going forward. I'm just gonna use the smaller grip here because I can kind of maneuver around like this a lot easier. I can kind of like pan in the follow, er, the follow mode. I can kind of pan like this if I'm punched in all the way like at a zoomed in shot or if I'm super wide. If I'm wide, you're gonna see me um, coming, in, coming out like this. So I'm gonna be backing up and then coming forward. I'm gonna be coming up at the artist's face. It's actually going to pan and tilt um, any way that I want it to. So I can kind of pan left and right, I can tilt up and down, I can kind of get like a tilting shot where I push it forward, or I can get a shot where I'm tilting down, pushing down, and then um, any of the panning shots too you'll see. I like to do shots where I start up looking at like the top left or right, and then I pan, so I pan to the right or the left, so while I'm panning to the right I'm also pushing down and then I expose the artist's head to toe. So that's a cool little panning shot you can get with this, but um, just walking around with it, like it's a pretty light gimbal. This is a really heavy camera though, so it is a pretty heavy rig, but I mean, walking around with this thing, it's pretty convenient to just kind of walk around, set up your shot, super running gun, just point the camera, press record right on the uh, gimbal itself. So like recording right now, and you can just go ahead and start shooting. So pretty clutch setup. Yeah, yeah. She see niggas, she gon' show flash it, flash it. Breaking hearts, my soul is so hungry. I got none, I guess I got lucky. And I do this shit, I do it so proudly. Fucked up my name, she yell it so loudly. Tickets to Coachella, she got so happy. I thought you like girls around me like some poppies. Yeah, all my real friends they stay around me. I need the love, I never had it. Had yeah, it. bitch, you talk too much like you so savage. savage. Uh, and my flow so good, you niggas garbage. garbage. Yeah, and RIP more rich, lost the cousin. Now I trust nobody. Now I trust nobody. Niggas talking with no topic. With no topic. Get up and I'm dropping more bodies. Alright guys, so that was the last scene of the, this uh, music video and my overall review on the Ziyun Crane 3 Lab. Such a super dope gimbal. I'm definitely going to use it in the future for music videos, 100%, especially if I'm doing run and gun stuff like this or if I'm traveling. I could only imagine how convenient this gimbal is for traveling. But overall, like, I don't know how else to rate this thing other than like a 10 out of 10. Like, I would cop this 100% any day. Like, I don't even know what else to say. It's just an amazing gimbal. The shots came out so smooth for a handheld gimbal because I'm very used to a Ronin M or just a full-size Ronin. So, you know, I have the two grips on the side and the top handle. So, I mean, like I, I was reviewing some of the footage and I couldn't believe how smooth some of this stuff was coming out. So yeah, I'm like overall pretty rough gimbal user. Like I'm running around with this thing. Like I'm throwing it everywhere, but I was doing the exact same thing with the Zune Crane. And uh, yeah, I was holding up really well. Like those motors are pretty strong for such a small gimbal. Yeah, that should be it. Thanks guys for watching this full out review on the Zune Crane 3 Lab gimbal. If you want to check out that gimbal, check out the description below. I will be linking the gimbal as well as my full out camera settings, with the Lumix S1, the Sigma, like the lens and all that stuff and my vlog camera and everything. So uh, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Peace.